What's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a bouncing basketball. Right here I have a basketball PNG file. I'm just going to bring it onto the stage and I'm just going to scale it a little bit. Now the idea is that the basketball is going to start off the stage and then bounce onto here. So what we're going to do first is come over here to the stage and select one keyframe for position. Next what we're going to do is scrub on the timeline and just bring the ball over here and then over here we're going to set a path. Now on the keyframes over here, if they're further apart, it's going to take longer. So what we want to do is just take this keyframe and move it much closer to the first one. Next what we want to do is set a keyframe for scale. So in the beginning of the timeline, we set one keyframe for scale. Right over here we're going to set another keyframe for scale, but we don't have to automatically set it on the transform option. What we can do is come over here and just scale the ball. And right here you see that the timeline will add a keyframe for you. Next, to have the ball bounce up, we're going to set another keyframe for position. And then we're going to scroll on the timeline again and select another keyframe for position. This time we're going to move the ball. And the reason we have two keyframes over here is so you have this kind of V-shape for the motion path. So that way when the ball bounces up, we don't have any issues and it looks more realistic. And then we're just going to add one more for scale. But over here what we're going to do is copy the keyframe, control C. And then right here on the timeline, we're just going to press control V. Now the ball goes back to its original shape. If you don't want to do that, you can just set the scale to its original shape. That way the ball goes back to where it's supposed to look like. For me, it's quicker just to press Control c and then Control v to copy-paste a keyframe. And then I'm going to add one more keyframe to show you guys where the ball goes to. And we're going to select one more for position. Or you can just move the ball to what direction you want it to go in. And press spacebar test this. And that's where it goes. And if you want this to be quicker, we'll just move the keyframe quicker. And the ball just launched <laughs> into some other direction. <laughs> but that's pretty much what you can do. And we can also change this. If we would scroll back on the timeline, we can set a different direction. There you go. And to reuse this animation, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is press Control C, Control V. Now we have another animation. Come over here, adjust the anchor point. Now you see two different animations, and we can move this over to change the timing of it. And there you go, you have two separate animations on the timeline. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on Adobe After Effects CC. If you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.